Hey everyone, it's Thursday morning. Um, I'm going to be leaving Jasper now. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to make my way down the 93 and uh, hopefully get some hikes in along the way. You can see just off the side here, the sun's starting to come up, uh, brighten up the area. Uh, well, I've successfully camped, stealth camped, four nights in Jasper. No issues at all, nobody knocked on the window, and for a community so small, uh, I'm surprised I was able to do it, really. Um, it wasn't a, a big spread of areas to park for the evening, but um, the last couple nights, even though it's been colder, it's been in the minus four range, I've had a fun time. I think uh, this would be a great thing to do again. Um, not sure if I came at the right time, because, well, one, Ski Hill isn't open, uh, and like I mentioned before, uh, the higher alpine trails are closed due to agrima activity. So I was kind of left to do kind of the lower trails, um, although beautiful still, um, I would have preferred something a little bit higher. Uh, but like I said before too, being by myself, uh, it's probably a little bit dangerous to do. Um, it doesn't look like the avalanche conditions are too bad up here, but I just don't want to take the risk. So, maybe another time. I guess I can turn that down a bit too. So, uh, thank you guys for joining me on this little tour. I'm going to head up, or like I said, head down 93, make it back to Banff, and uh, still take you guys with me. Talk to you later. I'm just at Athabasca Falls now. Uh, another really great, beautiful uh, waterfall system. Again, I got nobody else here, just me, but you know, it's early. It's like not even nine o'clock in the morning yet, so. And uh, like I was saying before, because of the uh, shoulder season, I guess you could put it. Um, I don't think a lot of people really have arrived for the tourist part of the winter. 
So I get the place to all of myself. You just hear the roar of the of the waterfall as you get closer. I'll just take you guys by here. sure you guys got a good look on that one. I'm pretty sure I gotta go down and around. But hey, look. set of falls. Looks like there's another canyon part here. Not too sure how far we can go. Maybe we'll take a look. set of waterfalls there. Pretty minor, but... It's incredible. I love it out here. Okay, I'm gonna make my way back up. I'll see you guys in a little while. Just arrived at uh, the place I am actually most excited about. I uh, I missed it on the way here because it's actually a lot easier to see when you're going south than it is when you're going north. Now this really isn't part of a tourist guide or book or anything, but uh, this actually used to be the old Highway 93 before it was changed around but you guys can probably hear it in the background a little bit. Uh, there's a bunch of falls and canyons right in this area. I'm basically right at the edge of the bridge here and already right down there. So I put my spikes on uh, because you definitely have to watch your step around here. So I'm gonna make my way down here, make it careful 
and uh, hopefully I can get some pretty good stuff for you guys. seen a Parks Canada truck go by so I'm sure it's a matter of time before they turn around and tell me to get out of here because it's not safe. Uh, I agree with them but I'm taking precautions. I'm not getting too close. Obviously the snow here is kind of hiding some of the stable places to step so I'm being cautious. But like I said this place is amazing. I'll leave you guys with this for a little while. 